Thank you. How you doing? Well, I thought I would start by playing. The folks at your wonderful school, BAA, asked me to, uh, to share some words. Uh, that was a song of mine called uh, Song for Birdie, because I play for my bird all the time. And he's so wonderful. He sits and listens. So you all had to listen. So thank you for sharing. But we were excited about sharing with you all. I saw your graduation this year. It was wonderful. There were just an incredible amount of folks that were sharing their art and sharing um, uh, ideas, the designers, the poets, the artists. It was wonderful. We're so very, very proud of you. It was so exciting to sit and listen to see all these artists and to hear what's going on at your great school. It's a great, just a, a, a great thing for the city and it's a great thing for the arts to talk about and look at and think about and hear about the experiences of young artists who are excited and have the passion you all. So we're very, very excited about that. I have some notes here because I'm, I'm a professor on some days <laughs> and professors like to talk a lot. So to keep me on target, I have, I have my notes here. So I, I think the kind of thing we want to look at and talk about uh, as musicians and artists and new thinkers in the world is maybe we can look at the past, what happened, what's going on today, and where we are, what we need to do to address the future. And if you think about music and arts, it is a principal carrier of community and value and agency and identity that really shapes everything that we're about. So I think music is more than music and, and arts are more than arts. It's, it's like the measure of how we look at and, and per proceed in life. And then the formula is complete when you do some living around that. I often say that, that music um, is tones organized to tell human stories. And I, I like that because it connects to arts and painting and design and all things, poetry. Um, but I think that that's been a great part of how artists have thought about themselves. And even more importantly than that, how people have received what it is we do. Um, Charlie Parker said that your, your wisdom, uh, your experience, is what comes out of your horn or your voice or your experience as an artist or painting or poetry. And John Coltrane said it for him that, that music is, is something that musicians are mainly interested in truth and to give people a sense of the beauty that they experience in the universe. And so I think that's really powerful if you, if you think about arts. Uh, we know Toni Morrison, the great artist who, who's also uh, a writer and a poet said that this though time is precisely when artists go to work. We're, we're concerned a little bit about the challenges of our times and for artists that has always been the call to order as it were. So this is precisely, she says, there, there's no time for despair, there's no place for self-pity, there's no need for silence, there's, there's no reason for fear. She says, we speak, we write, we do language, and that's how civilizations heal. So if you think about music and popular arts, which you all do, uh, concert tradition arts, world music, dance, poetry, painting, and in so many of the black American arts that become a champion of this thing, expressions, these cultural traditions, we're talking about the spirituals, the blues, jazz, gospel, R&B, soul, hip hop, and great songing, songwriting, these are the ways through which artists over the time articulated a practiced and refined conscious art and a, uh, a, a, red, a rhetoric that was dedicated to these very ideas. I mean, that's what musicians believe they're called to do. And I know that's what you all believe you're called to do as well. So we can talk about the, the cultivation of these kinds of, of values that allow people to aspire beyond what was going on and to provide some, some critical ideas and some inspiration in the spiritual realm, the intellectual realm, the political realm, and social development, which, which I know you all are very, very much involved with and understand now. This is what kind of has driven my own art. Ever since I was a young person, the time I came up in, there was a lot of music that was um, kind of uh, about that. You know, you had the soul movement and Aretha Franklin and, and you know, uh, all the music, rock and roll, was, 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 was about the musicians who brought their beliefs about how they're going to transform and actually do something in the world. They brought it to practice and then people were moved and lifted. So this is nothing new, but I think you all are coming in at a time where it's new for you all. And so we got to encourage you that this is okay and that there was, again, there was a past where this happens. Now let's move to where we are now. 
Arts have always consistently opened up the bridges in our culture's difficult times. Uh, to be an artist, as cliche as that may sound, it's made to sound sometimes, is an act of freeing truth. And, and in that rebellion, that courage, that care, and that profound sense of universality of expression, that makes living matter around us respond to that in powerful and positive ways. Uh, and if that's simply released into the air, um, it's incalculable as to what can happen in terms of the power uh, so that you all have this gift and this calling right now is very important. This is why I point out always in, in all these industry fields that these contemporary themes and these problems that we see um, uh, are, are, are incredibly important for you all to, to wrestle with and to dance in them and paint and poetry in them, poetry inside of those. You think about identity and representation and determining what uh, things are positive in the world. You got to think about your art and also the impact that your generation has on the world that you live in. Uh, that, that includes the, the economics that we are involved in, the spiritual values, education, how education is going to do that. And then the arts are always used in education to show people where the range of their humanity is and the power of what it is we do as, as arts. So I think that that's kind of what we need to think of, be thinking about right now, particularly as you all are, are, are going uh, out uh, in the world today. Um, so we're looking at today's story. But you got to also be thinking about what you're going to do with all that great information you have and all that gifting to shape the world that's going to be going on tomorrow. So for many of us, there's a problem today in the world with our own music. Let's just look at music for a moment and the media because there's arts and there's literature too. But one of the things that really affect people is music. And it's kind of poisonous in some ways. Not all of it. I'm not a hater. You know, I love J. Cole, Beyonce, Bruno Mars. They're all good for me uh, because they're talented people. But um, the thing that they really push is the stuff that sometimes is kind of poisonous. You know what I mean? Language, values, imagery. That's, that's really kind of um, making some damaging kind of things to go on. And I think you all as artists have to think about the positive things. Uh, so you got to pull all that together with technology and, and kind of think about how it is you're going to be affected uh, uh, and how you're going to be effective with your art. And, you know, you all are high school students, but now you're college bound and you're world bound. So we can kind of talk bigger issues now than just, you know, you got to learn your craft. That's important. You have to learn the discipline of being and listening and being with others. Now it's time to kind of take some independent pivots and say, who am I in this thing I want to do with music? And how am I going to make a difference? All the things that my teachers taught me, my parents in the community kind of um, instilled in me to, to be accountable to. Now it's time for me to get It's time for you. That's right, you to get out there. So I think that the very good news about all this is, is that the, the uh, gene pool for talent has not gone away. It's just not in the past. It's in you all. And it's, it's, it's present there. And I think that, that you all have the technological tools to really bear this out. So today's younger generation really has a much broader palette of stuff to deal with because you all have internet and you got TV and you got your own music and you have a sense of the global world which is affected as you can see and impacted. The stuff that we started here with Floyd, uh, the, the, the uh, horrible thing that happened, all over the world people were in tune to that. And when the musicians and the people and the young people hit the streets, things change. And we've seen that happen over and over again. I just think what happens if you continue to grab onto that impulse and carry it on into the, into the next weeks and months and years. Just think of the kind of impact that you can have. Now I think the rub for that is, um, are, are you going to be accountable and hold yourself to that? And then are the people ready for this righteous you? <laughs> is your family ready for your, the righteous you? I think they are. So I think that you have to think about um, what you're going to do as a creative person in the world today. And I think musicians who are trained, um, are, are, are that's the new paradigm, I think. I think the new paradigm for us, let's write this down if there's anything you want to remember. We want to remember that there are great examples in the past of artists who believed in these things and made a difference. And then there is you, what you're doing now with your art. And then there is the work that you, and I too, I'm following after you because you're the impulse of the future. 
what impact you're going to make in the world today for beyond. It's a kind of a three-tiered kind of idea. Um, and, and I think that that's what you have to look at. If you look at the examples we had in the past, we had the Fist Jubilee Singers in the 1870s. And they were doing these things for, in the 1870s, using their music to think to sing about spiritual. And these were 18 and 19 year olds in college. The Fist Jubilee Singers, Fist University. They went all over the world. That's the model that we can look at. Then you got to think about uh, the blues singers and the gospel singers. They too took this spiritual message into the world and they changed things. And then you go on to the beboppers. The beboppers, they were uh, virtuosos. Virtuosos who represented rebellion in their great music. If you think about Woody Guthrie, that moved to Bob Marley and to uh, Bob Dylan who made uh, their music based on the universal themes of, of, of freedom and liberty and justice for all. Rock and roll, civil rights, moving all the way to, to, to uh, uh, Neo Soul with Jill Scott, all the way up to contemporary music. That's a lot of music, a lot of artists. And it wasn't just artists, it was the fashion designers that designed the clothes. You look at Jimi Hendrix, you look at the, the fashion, it's, it's, it's poetry and lyrics, it's, it's a dance, it's, it's all of that together, this kind of art, artistic sensibility. So we kind of need a revolution today, a revolution of artists who are, who are imbued with these kind of things. And you all have been most trained. I mean, in all of Boston, you are like the principal school who the, your teachers and, and all the studies were kind of uh, uh, focused on this kind of thing. So I think, you know, of, of all the things that we talked about, I, I think our communities are places today where we have to bring this kind of artistic engagement. And you are the ones that have the gifting, the skills, the passion. And now, since we're all having this discussion, and you're going to have a discussion when you're at home with your family and your friends, now it's time to pivot that passion towards a direction of really making a change and making transformational art. Art that really does something, that really says, we are human, we have to love each other, we're community, we aspire towards the best that we need to be, and that kind of example is positioned to change the world we live in. So thank you all so much for your gifts, for bringing that to the world, and we uh, thank you for accepting that challenge to help transform this world. Good luck, my best, my love, we'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.